I've already shuffled and we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and your person. We'll see what's coming up for the two of you. We'll find out what the challenge is going to be. And then we'll take a look and see what the outcome is. So Pisces, the recent past energy between you and the person you're dealing with, Three of Swords, and it's with the Ten of Pentacles. Now this Three of Swords is actually an element of sorrow that's undeniable. But what's on the other side of this sorrow can be enhanced understanding and joy. So allow yourself to fully experience any sorrow or pain that comes up. This way you can move past it. This card, it can also point to a very deep emotional issue that needs to be addressed before you can move on. Because if you deny any pain, that doesn't make it go away. So, if this was the case, you would have needed to allow yourself to experience any pain that comes up. But don't wallow in it. Yeah, you do not and should not wallow in grief or sorrow for long periods of time. However, you're the only one who can decide how long is long enough, and others can't do this for you. Now, it's with a Ten of Pentacles. Now, this card, it says that you have a great deal to be thankful for. Your relationships of all kinds, your finance, your health, all these things should be going well when you get the Ten of Pentacles. So you might need to consider how you got to such a happy situation. Make the best of it. Share what you have, even if it's only a kind word spoken to someone in need, because we give back what we give out. So, Pisces, three of Pentacles. I'm sorry, three of Swords. Clarified by this Ten of Pentacles. So what I'm picking up on for the recent past energy between you and your person is that well things could have been going really well it could have felt like um, you had it all or your person wanted it all with you with this Ten of Pentacles Ten of Pentacles is about having it all it's about commitment it's about engagement marriage childbirth it can indicate a lot of money maybe a person has a lot of money or you have a lot of money or you guys are um, doing well when it comes to money. Ten of Pentacles can also be about a second chance. Yeah, so if you gave this person a second chance, things were going really, really well. Everyone wants the Ten of Pentacles in a reading. But no one wants the Three of Swords in a reading. The card that's above the word pass. Yeah, you could have, um, maybe you were afraid of getting hurt by this person or getting hurt by the connection. But someone wanted it all. I'm picking up it was your person. They wanted everything with you. They saw you as the end all be all. But you could have, like I said, with this three of swords here, you could have felt like, this was going to turn turn out to be um, heartbreak. Or for some of you, you, you just felt like, um, well, let me, let me say this. The Three of Swords can be about relationship difficulty. It can be about um, rejection. It can be about... Um, shutting each other out. So these are the thoughts that might have came across your mind while you were with this person. Or these things, um, they did happen. But your person saw you as someone that they could have it all with. You were this person's end-all be-all. Okay, so let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what's coming up for the two of you. Okay, so we got the Queen of Pentacles, and it's with Hermit. Now, the Queen of Pentacles, it indicates that you could be spending money, time, energy on your home, getting it to be more comfortable. This is a good thing, provided you don't take on too much debt. 
people could be looking to you for insight or maybe advice, you'll be able to help them too. You'll be able to help them if you decide to do so. It's actually a time period when you can get a lot accomplished now. It's with the Hermit. This Hermit card can be spiritual. It could have something to do with institutions, large organizations, everything from a bank to an entire Christian church. It's kind of like the strength card in the tarot. You could be in a frame of mind where you need some time alone. Don't be afraid to take it, even if it's just a five-minute walk around the house so that you can clear your head. Also, this Hermit card, it can be a card about trying very hard to do the right thing. But you want to make sure that doing the right thing includes doing what's right for you and not worrying about the wants and needs of others. So, Pisces, coming up, Queen of Pentacles, clarified by the Hermit. So yeah, I don't know what's um, going on in your head, Pisces, but this Three of Swords, it keeps staring at me. So, I'm getting that you, you're feeling some kind of way about this person or the connection. And it's not good. You could be thinking it's going to lead to heartbreak. Or it's, it's just a hurtful, something is hurtful about it. Those swords just, the way they're, they're stabbed into that heart. Yeah, so, so with the Queen of Pentacles here, it's indicating coming up, you might decide to just fall back, or you could be feeling like you want to fall back from this connection. The Queen of Pentacles, that's my fall back card. You know, how people just fall back, chill. Like, if you take a look at the picture, she's sitting in her backyard, she's in her, in her lounge chair, she's sitting on, on her lounge chair, she's um, just enjoying the nice weather. She's got her dog sleeping on her toes. He's keeping her feet warm. The birds and the squirrels, they come by to say hi, and she feeds them, and just taking comfort and joy in the ordinary things. And you just want some time alone to clear your mind, get rid of some baggage. That's what the hermit does. So yeah, Pisces, I see you falling back from this connection to clear your mind, get rid of some baggage, whatever is going on that's um, causing you to feel like this Three of Swords sometimes. You just want to maybe be free from it. Yeah, you just want some comfort. And some alone time. That's what I see. That's what I'm getting that you, you'll be doing. A lot of you coming up. Yeah. Because something's going on here. Three of Swords. Let's see if we can get some more clarity by looking at the rest of the reading. Now we got the King of Swords. And it's with Justice. Okay, so this King of Swords, it can stand for a powerful, opinionated, forceful man in your life. He will often... But not always have hair on the darker end of the spectrum. It could go either way. You could be tempted to think only about how things affect you personally, especially when this card does not represent an actual person in your life. So you might need to consider the feelings of others before you act. Now the King of Swords, it can point to a very forceful type of energy. So you may not be able to get this man in your life to change his mind or to do what you want. So you may need to change something major about your behavior, thoughts, and or your expectations. But don't overextend your reach. Now, so with this justice, justice, it actually deals with the ideal of karma. 
and the law of cause and effect. So it's important to remember that not everything you're dealing with is a direct result of your own actions or karma. Sometimes we're actually called upon to deal with the results of the actions of someone we care about. So don't don't blame yourself unnecessarily. And if you're directly involved in a court case, it's likely to be resolved at least a large degree in your favor. So your challenge, King of Swords, clarified by justice. Well, Pisces, it looks like you could be dealing with someone that's um, on the forceful side. This this person could be um, kind of arrogant, or maybe they're really arrogant. Um, this type of person, this King of Swords, is stereotypically manly. They'll overstep their bounds. Um, very forceful. This person will mistreat you. Yeah, very opinionated. This King of Swords is actually known as the narcissist in the tarot. So maybe you know you're dealing with somebody who's narcissistic. Yeah, and this person is with justice. It's, it's, this card is clarified by justice. So not only are they narcissistic, they use their head over their heart, but with justice here, it's indicating that Wow, they could feel like everything they do, it's like they feel like they have the right to do so. It's all about them feeling that they're in their rights. They they have the right, like justice is, is about um, justice being served, feeling that... Um, Yeah, getting what you deserve. Basic, basically thinking that you have the right. They're in their rights. This is how that person, your person feels. Everything they do, they feel like they're right. It's it's a, it's their right to do it. And then their the other person could be pushy. The person could be mean and forceful. So you're dealing with someone. One um, Pisces that wants it all with you. You're the one for them. But yeah, you feel like you could get hurt by this person. Maybe some of you are being mistreated. Maybe this person doesn't treat you like you feel they should. Yeah, so that could be what this heart what this Three of Swords is is indicating. Maybe you've gotten hurt, hurt by this person before. Yeah, so that could be why you want some alone time. But uh, let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the outcome is. we got the Hangman, and it's with the Nine of Swords. Now the Hangman, it shows that you could be at a crossroads. One with only two option type, in or out, up or down, yes or no. You could find yourself wanting to do something, but you have no idea what it is what it is, or how to do it. And if this happens, it's a sign that maybe you should stop, relax, take a look at ways that you might need to let go of attempts to control a situation. Or control a person, it's possible. That there could be an outdated attitude or maybe a wish that you need to let go of. Because any sacrifice that you make, it could open up your life to something even more positive than what you let go of. So basically, this, this should probably be a thoughtful, reflective time. Especially if you're willing to look at if or how you might best serve your own interests by being willing to change. But um, hangman is about letting go, basically. Maybe letting go of an, of a lover, which will bring you the possibilities that someone that you can be with will be there for you. 
But that's only one example. Maybe you need to let go of a particular vision. Maybe you need to let go of a vision of a particular kind of relationship as being the only way you can be happy. Yeah, so it's about trying to let go, but you're confused about maybe what to let go of. Should you stay? Should you go? In or out? Up or down? Yes or no? Now it's with the Nine of Swords, which shows the need to guard against anxiety. If you're feeling anxious, maybe take a good look at whether or not any of that's under your own power or control and try to lessen it. Or if other things or people in your life are contributing to this anxiety. So if this is the case, maybe take a good look at that and see whether or not something in the relationship can be changed to make it more workable. Because there's something about this time period that can actually cause people to feel like their life should be in some way more or bigger or just different than it is. So try to take comfort and joy in the ordinary things and just know that that's what a beauty really is. So your outcome pinged and clarified by the Nine of Swords. So yeah, Pisces, this connection is leaving you, you're, you're in your head about it. Yeah, we got two cards here about being in your head. But this person, they, they want to be with you. You're the one for them. So you're just trying to figure out what to do because... What I'm getting is that for some of you, you're dealing with someone that's not really nice. Like I said, the King of Swords will mistreat you. Yes, they will. This King of Swords can cut you with their words. They don't even need a sword. So, yeah, good luck with that, Pisces. And the outcome is basically showing that you're trying to figure out what to do. Once, once you get rid of this anxiety and worry, then the answer will probably come to you. So that's the reading that I have for you, Pisces. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading, where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link below for personal readings, if you'd like to try one of those. So Pisces, thank you so much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season and with all the crazy in the news hang in there it's gonna pass we'll all get through this so stay strong take good care please come back and join me for the next pisces reading just in case this did not resonate maybe the next reading will also keep in mind when you get the readings the roles of the people can be switched yes they can be reversed meaning you could be your person or your person could be you and if you're not dealing with anyone romantically the other person could actually be a friend a family member a co-worker or a situation so just take the reading for however it resonates yeah because these are general readings they're not personal readings so also, I want to say, make sure you look for my um, my new uploads that are coming in. Um, I'll be having some about Pisces 2021 20, for the new year. I'll have some love readings, um, bonus ones, and then I'll have also some um, tarot readings online uh, about Pisces Moon. And then Pisces traits, and then um, Pisces celebrities, and then love reading book quotes. So I'm doing a, a lot of um, additional videos that I'm working on, and then I'll also include some 
um, psychic meanings like psychic psychics online just for anyone that's interest, interested in it so you might want to check those out but for now I, I just want to say I can never say it enough Pisces thank you so much for watching I hope you have a great day I hope to see you at the next reading and take care